Everybody been asking, so here is how I made this video using Insta360 X3 and DALI 2. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to Insta360 because it's basically my first brand deal. I mean, they didn't pay me to review it, but they gave me that for free. So thank you. Shout out Insta360. So how I shot this video, that's the best part. I didn't do anything. I was just walking. All you gotta do is put the camera on your selfie stick, hold it, and just walk. That's the best part about the 360 camera is that it's going to capture everything. So you can take care of the framing after in post-production. They also gave me a three meter long selfie stick, but I don't have it right now. My friend has it. But that's what I was using. I was just walking around with the three meter long selfie stick and yeah, I got weird looks. Everyone was looking at me, but I don't care. I got the shot. So after you're done shooting, now it's time to edit. So what you can do, you have three choices. So there is the Insta360 app. It's pretty user-friendly. You can connect to your camera using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, then edit the video, crop it, zoom, turn it around, make it a tiny planet, insert keyframes, track and export, all that within the app on your phone. Then there is also the Insta360 Studio 2022. Works pretty much the same as any editing software, but you get more Insta360 specific tools. You can import your footage, edit it, add keyframe, track as you want it and export it. How I personally use it is more to create a ProRes file that I can later use in After Effects or Premiere Pro. Okay, so now the best part, the editing. How did I edit that video? Okay, first of all, my process might seem messy for anyone that actually knows how to edit 360 footage, but I had no prior experience with using or editing 360. Although I bought one Insta360 like two years ago, but I never really used it besides on the app on my phone. So how I did it, after I exported the video from the Insta360 Studio as a ProS 422 format, I used the plugin called GoPro FX Reframe that you can install on both Premiere Pro and After Effects. But after trying to use it on both After Effects and Premiere Pro, personally, I feel like it's easier to use on After Effects, even though I see some people use it on Premiere Pro. But me personally, what I like about using it on After Effects is that you can actually move around your footage by clicking straight up on the video itself. You don't have to do everything within the timeline. And for me, it feels more user-friendly. So how I did it, I start by creating a keyframe on the pan, tilt, rotate, and zoom. I place my footage how I want it, and I move to the very end of my timeline, drag and place again, then I go to the middle and place again. And you kind of have to half it every time between each keyframe until you get a smooth footage just the way you want it. If it's not smooth enough, I select my keyframe, I hit F9 on my keyboard, to enable the easy ease and play around with the keyframe curves. And now to the part that most of you were actually waiting for, the AI. So how did I animate these murals? First of all, select the part of the video that you wanna do these effects on and export it as an image sequence. Once you have your images, you're gonna have to work on each individual frame. Yeah, that's a very, very long process. If you don't have one already, create an account on OpenAI DALI. Right now, I believe that it's still in beta, so you might have to wait a while before you get access once you to subscribe. Go to the homepage, click on open an image, and browse through your image. Then click edit image. By default, the eraser tool is selected, or click here to select it. Then erase the part of the image that you want to replace. I'm going to choose the hat. Then that's where all the magic happens. Tap your prompt, whatever you want, be creative. For me, I'm going to type a man wearing a golden crown. And then the next frame, you can even erase the mouth and, and type a man sticking his tongue out, something like that, or a man smoking a pipe. And if it doesn't fit the aesthetics, that's where you gotta be more creative and more precise about what you actually ask to the AI. Like right now, I'm gonna add indication like painting, and you can even mimic the style of some famous painter that you know. Open your original frame in Photoshop, then replace the part of the image with the part that you exported from DALI and then export the image within your, your image sequence. Do that for every single frame, then export your video, and there you have your animation. That's it. All right, so let me know in the comments if you wanna get more details about any, anything within my, my process, and I'm gonna try my best and reply to every single one. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, I guess. I don't know, I'm not really a YouTuber. Thank you, appreciate you. Thank you for 100,000.
Thanks.